What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing some PTCGO this morning. Still rocking standard format. I've been scouring Limitless, looking for different list ideas to try out in standard. I got my own League Cup coming up this weekend. So going to try and actually get some League Cup points, I think, for the remainder of the year. I only have 50 points from Cups so far this season. So I could be doing a little bit more in the way of locals. So I think I'm actually going to try a little bit, though, uh, you know, uh, it hurts me to do so. <laughs> I think I will actually attempt to do as well as I can at this upcoming League Cup. I also want to get Peter Keats's Buzzwall deck built for standard format as well. I actually have not even given that a try yet. So I'm interested to see how that Buzzwall Lucario list plays, though I do think that there is, uh, you know, a healthy amount of Malamar out there, which does scare me away from potentially playing this, uh, this Buzzwall deck in standard format. I mean, you can't win them all. So I will import that deck real quick, and then we're going to rock on with some games here uh, on BTCGO this morning. So there we go. That's Peter Keats's list. It is uh, missing two Lucario GX. I don't know why sometimes uh, PTCGO fails to import things. What's up, Zach? Thank you so much for those bits, my man. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a great day so far, my man. And appreciate the love, dude. We've got three B strings, a couple switch cards. All right. Three Acerolas, some Lilies, some Skateboards. I just love the way that this, you know, import manager uh, does all the random artworks. Don't you just love the way that it does that? I don't know why, you know, but sure. Nothing like a little flavor in your deck. We'll call this Peter's Fighting Deck. <laughs> Peter's Fighting Deck. All right, very cool. We use our Chansey Coin, which I love, and, of course, the Plain deck box. Very good. Playing cards leaves. And we're ready to roll. Alright, so we got Peter's fighting deck. We've got a Malamar list. I was looking at Malamar as well. I took one of the top eight lists from Collinsville, but then uh, I really like the Tapu Coco that I've been seeing floating around in some of these Malamar decks. So I really wanted to try that out today as an inclusion because I think Flying Flip just pairs really well with that Sky Scorching Light GX, uh, there was a Gengar Mimikyu in this list. I yanked it out. Just uh, I'm not a biggest fan of that card, so uh, I don't think that you necessarily need the Gengar Mimikyu in here. Uh, there was also, oh, Acerola. All right, if someone in the chat can convince me why I need Acerola in this deck, then maybe I'll listen. But I yanked that out, too, for another Psychic Energy, because honestly, it's seven just seems so small. But anyways, let me know. Uh, why is Acerola good in Malamar, all right? I mean, I feel like we're playing in a one-hit KO format where things are just getting smacked, right? So I, you know, I mixed it up a little bit myself, and I, I like it, you know, I like the base of it. I like Jirachi, I like Switch Cards, I like a Rescue Stretcher. I think I probably want to Rescue Stretcher, but it's all good. Thank you so much, Euclid, for that Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you, my man. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy all of uh, all of uh, Wimpo Squirrels. Nice little skateboarding Pikachu uh, animations that he has provided for me. When you guys sub, awesome stuff. Good morning, guys. Use Ace Rolla as a switching card. Uh oh, the bot sub expired. Oh no, the bot is no longer a sub. I don't know. Let's uh, cheers to the bot and his uh, one month subscription. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's get it popping this morning. We're going to go ahead and roll some games with Malamar. I'm trying to see what we could do here. Uh, excellent. King's Arcade, welcome. And welcome, everybody, whose first time it is catching a live stream. Appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out this morning. Thursday morning, squad. we got an awesome day ahead of us. I... I'm excited. We got Key Forge on Thursdays here at Full Grip Games, so I usually help run the Key Forge event later in the afternoon, which is always a lot of fun. Why do we start our Giratina? Probably because we play two. So that's fine. We could start that guy. I'm not sure that you need two Giratina, but that being said, prizing a Giratina when you only play one is really bad. 
So, otherwise, this hand is pretty busted, not going to lie. We've got Ultra Ball Switch and Lily for a big turn one. Man, I love standard format. Just, uh, just great. The turn one Lily just feels awesome. Pretty much no way for your opponent to disrupt what you got going on, right? Uh, there's no N. The Let Loose is really the only form of disruption, and it can only be used a couple of times. Looks like we're playing against a Passimian deck, so let's get it here. All right. Uh, we actually may want to just leave that Giratina in the active position so that it does not get knocked out turn one. I think that probably is my best case scenario now that I'm like thinking about it. The switch would also be very good, right? We could Ultra Ball away, hmm, Mysterious Treasure away that Cynthia. I guess I'm just conflicted. I want to get a turn, I want to like guarantee myself as close to a turn two attack as I can. Which probably means that, yeah, we're just going to Mysterious Treasure here. Grab ourselves that Giratina. And then we're going to Ultra Ball away. You know, probably like that. I'll probably just go for the... I'll go for the Jirachi. Fine. Okay. Switch into that fella. And let's get it going here. Lily for eight. Boom! Eight new cards. That feels powerful, guys. Feels powerful. Feels good. All right. And then we can do, sure, let's throw those choice bands down. We ain't going to need those. I'll slap a metal here, too. And guess what? We're getting loose, fellas. Turn one on this Passimian deck. Let's go. And we got Viridian Forest. Super busted. Okay. So I'm thinking that we, yeah, we cycle one of these energy cards real quick just to make sure that we get one into the discard pile which is really sweet. And then we can Stellar Wish and look for, yeah, more stuff. Probably Switch is good. I already have an Ultra Ball in my hand. So we'll just take the Switch. That feels right. And then I can Ultra Ball for Malamar, Psychic Recharge, Guzma, and get a turn to attack with my Giratina. Sick. All right, we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and pass to my opponent. Hopefully they ain't got nothing. Got some people in the chat talking about GG End. Now, what is up with the set name GG End? Can anybody please inform why is it called GG End? I have been checking Poke Beach recently for some spoilers. Uh, we already talked about the Garchomp and Giratina, right? I don't know about that Garchomp and Giratina. All right, like someone in the chat the other day called it the Titanic pose. <laughs> the Titanic pose. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just like too funny. I was dead. I could not actually handle that. Uh, the Garchomp and Giratina artwork is goofy, dude. Like that is is just too goofy. Oh my gosh, speaking of goofy, have you guys seen this Blastoise yet? This might be the ugliest Blastoise I have ever seen. All right, I'm going to link it in the chat. This might just be the ugliest Blastoise. So can we all just take a moment to appreciate how ugly that Blastoise is? I'm really, really sorry for this Blastoise card. I can't believe he, they had to do him like this. It's just really unfortunate. All right. Yeah, we're going to grab the Viridian Forest again. Oh, Connor loves it. He says it's a beautiful card. has two of my favorite Pokemon on it. But have you guys looked at the Blastoise that I that I linked, all right? You can't tell me that this is a Blastoise only a mother could love, okay? The full art Blastoise. Only a mother could love that could love that card, okay? I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to stick to my guns there. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're ultra balling away yeah, the switch and the marsh shadow. We're going to grab Malamar here. Not actually a ton of options, but that's okay. We've got the Guzma, the Psychic Recharge, and the Energy. Could have Ultra Balled away the Viridian Forest, but that seemed kind of wrong. Psychic Recharge once, and we got just what we need <laughs> to get ourselves a knockout. So I guess, yeah, we're, we're just going to go for that, that Tapu Koko there. He is like Enemy number one for sure. Uh, Shadow impact for knockout. I am not gonna bother. Yeah, I think we're just we're popping all that damage onto ourselves for sure. 
Uh, I'm not going to bother doing the whole uh, damaging one of my bench Pokemon thing. That seems bad, right? Okay, so yes, those of you guys who have not seen this Blastoise, I actually am just going to, I'm going to see if I can't just bring the Blastoise up front and center here. Check this out. Can we just do this? Boom. Look at that. Is he up there now? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy, dude. He's so ugly, dude. Why? Why, Pokemon? I love Blastoise, but why did you do this? This is this is the worst timeline. This is the worst thing you could have done to my Blastoise, okay? Look at that face. Can you just can you just take a minute to look at that face, dude? Like, I know that we're playing a game here, but look at this. I don't know. I'm sorry, Blastoise. Um, no, I don't want to remove display capture. We just want to move the... Oh, yikes, guys. I really seem to have messed this one up. There we go. Boom. Yes, I would like to move Blastoise. All right. And we're back. Ah, uh, okay. Back to trying to play this game. Oh, wow. While we were gone, my opponent seems to really have done me in. Uh, by flying, flipping, and bringing up my Malamar. That all happened so quickly. I really wish that it had not. Oh, well, looks like we're just going to have to stay the course here and pass. <laughs> Listen, I'm not body shaming. I am, well, okay. It's not about, listen, Blastoise's figure. We all know Blastoise is a little... Rotund, okay? We all know this about Blastoise. There's no secret. Okay, we're going to retreat this fella. Okay, get that Giratina back up active. This is a mess. Somehow we have really, uh, really kind of put ourselves in harm's way here. I think I kind of need the distortion door, to be honest. All right, we're going to do that. And just so I can start to psychic recharge onto my benched guy, I really hope that. My opponent misses an attack this next turn. That would be, that'd be good. All right, we're just gonna shadow impact. I guess I need to put, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll put more damage onto myself. He ain't dead yet. Close, but he ain't dead yet. Another psychic energy. Wow. Sure enough, I take out one card for a psychic energy, and I just, uh, <laughs> and I just, uh, you know, you just have a ton. I'm just swimming in psychic energy now. So yes, the Blastoise, we all know Blastoise is a little uh, rotund, okay? But this, it's, I think it's the the face, just something about, you know, his, his face has just got me. I don't even know what he does. I don't think he's good. I just think it's, you know, but that Blastoise will go down in infamy. Yes, please judge me, please, yes. All right, the Blastoise GX, ability, solid shell. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Well, that's pretty good. It's a nice little ability. Please don't flying fl Oh my gosh. Guys, this is really bad. Ooh, two prizes there. Yeah, not exactly how we wanted this to go down. Uh, yeah, we're definitely promoting the Jirachi. Okay, things are getting a little bit sketch. Hmm. We need this to not go down like this. All right, we've got Psychic Energy. We've got... Uh, yeah, we could bring the man back out. <laughs> this Blastoise is out here living his best life. We ain't having any of it. You're you're right. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. Okay, so we got a rescue stretcher. I guess if I wanted to bring something back, you know, a little too little too late to bring back my Malamar and save that Inke that just got bopped. I think we'll probably do that feeling like I am going to have to build up another, uh, gosh, and I don't even have a switch card. I have to Guzma? Oh, this is horrible, because then we're just going to get Flying Flip for two more prizes, and then we definitely lose. Oh, my gosh, this is, this is horrendous. Okay, put a Pokemon for my discard pile in my hand. I think we kind of need this thing. Just a terrible situation. All right. I suppose we could go for Cynthia and just hope we hit it, though I feel like the odds of them not having... I, I can't afford to Guzman, all right? I need to go for it with Cynthia. If we miss the switch or the escape rope with Cynt or the escape board with Cynthia, I think we just exit this game kindly, all right? Because I need to, I need to hit it. 
yeah, I think we just kindly exit this game and say, you know what? You did it. You have a good deck. All right. And I'm never playing Malamar again. We're going to put that one to bed. All right. GG, guys. Yep. One single flying flip Coco just ended us. But at least we got to talk about Blastoise, right? That was kind of funny. Let's play Peter's, uh, Peter's Fighting Deck. I'm going to try that one out. Am I going to Florida? Not exactly sure that... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to Florida. Uh, I need to check my finances, my financial situation. It is, uh, you know, looking a little bit uh, dry, okay? Since I spent the last two weekends traveling to my, you know, traveling to Greensboro and to Toronto. So I might need to stop there for a minute and uh, maybe not travel to every other regional for the rest of the year. We'll see. We'll see. May just focus on... Oh, this is a fantastic starting hand. I love this. Okay. King's Arcade asks, Would you sign a Misty's Determination that's already signed by you? I don't see why not, but it seems a little bit redundant. But absolutely. I'll sign whatever, whatever you want me to sign. Sure. Yep. Always down. No problems there. I did purchase one of the Snorlax and Eevee tag team tins, okay? I want to take a moment, we all take a moment to applaud Pokemon for like a very nice job well done on the tins, okay? I think everybody that I've talked to loves the new Pokemon tins. They did incredible on those. The GX markers are insane. The artwork on the actual... Could I please... Could you please just end end me? All right, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll drive from Texas to pick you up and then head down to Florida. That seems like uh, really, really out of the way. That being said, I did purchase one of the. I did purchase one of the new tins, right? And the cards look amazing. The new GX markers look amazing. The new tins actually look phenomenal as well. Uh, I bought the Eevee and Snorlax one. The place that I was at was out of... I think we could just concede, right? Like, I don't think this deck can beat this thing. Uh, so I think... Pretty sure we concede this one. But it's all good. You know? We could see my opponent getting ready here with that Alolan Ninetales that I cannot defeat. Sure. We'll uh, we'll give him the old yep punch. <laughs> it's fine. I'm pretty sure my opponent's just gonna get the Verizian in the active though, and then we'll like whisk away everything that is not the uh, uh, that thing. All right. I think we probably play one Sledgehammer Buzzwell. So if I'm gonna win this game, oh, this just is this is a nightmare. <laughs> it's like literally, this is my nightmare. I need to win the entire game with one Sledgehammer Buzzwool. That's all we got. Now, granted, my opponent has put down two GXs, so I can do that, right? Zach, you think that Snorlax is something bad? Oh, I think the Snorlax looks incredible, dude. I think that Snorlax, that new Eevee Snorlax, I was just saying how much I love it. It's like my favorite... Uh, of the three easily. I think that it's way better than the Picaram. I think it's way better than the Venusaur. I saw the Snorlax and I fell in love with him. I had to I had to take him home. So that's why I picked the Eevee Snorlax tin. Thought it was amazing. Uh, yes. Uh, I do think that someone's asking, do I think that Greninja's Zorark will be a good card? Absolutely. That card's busted, dude. Oh, okay, guys. Yeah, a little bit of a tough spot my opponent has put me in here, but I feel like, yeah, I mean, what else is there to do, really? I need to draw more cards. That's just it. Sure, this is a horrible hand. Alrighty then. Uh, that's fine. Let's just jet punch. <laughs> We're going to soften up. Probably... Yeah, we're probably just going to stay the course and keep poking away at the nine tails, I guess, right? Dude, uh, you like the full art Blastoise more than that Eevee Snorlax? No. All right, guys. Okay, we're having, we're having some fighting words going on in this chat right now. What in the world, man? These guys got no respect for my man Eevee Snorlax. What in the world is going on here? Okay. 
Um, yeah. Well, we need to draw more cards. That's for starters. I would like to Guzma. Okay. Guzma would feel good. I think this deck plays a Lele. Probably plays a Lele. <sighs> Let's Ultra Ball away the Kikui and the Lucario. All right, we're going to need to get... I ain't no Lele in here, folks. Ain't no Lele. <laughs> and that's fine. We all know what time it's going to be here shortly. So we're just going to get the man. And we're going to wait. And we're going to Kikui. Sure. Ooh, look at that. None of that matters. But it's fine. We'll just continue with our own jet punch. Sure. And we're going to soften up probably that guy again. Very good. That's all we got. So. All right, all right, all right. We need to have a discussion. All right, press 1 in the chat if you think the new EV Snorlax Tim promo is cool. Press 2 if you think he's ugly, all right? One for cool, two for ugly. Okay, the new EV Snorlax. And if you have not seen it, I will uh, I'll help you guys. I'll get a, I'll get an image up here, okay? Press one if you think he's cool, two if you think he's ugly. You already know my opinions on the matter. Bro, so many haters. I can't believe it. I can't believe all the haters I'm seeing with my eyeballs. Insano. All right, let's, uh, yeah, we got, you've unlocked my trap card, sir. All right, we do have, uh, it's pretty divided. Thank you, Zach Pra, for those bits, my man. Appreciate it. All right. Brady, Brady, a man of taste. I see. I know. That's what I'm saying. I will not tolerate. He is so handsome. He's very nice. Very nice. All right, there's the Diancie, and now we're going to Lily Town. Let's get some more cards. Sick. Okay, now we're doing some things. Now we're doing some things, chat. Okay. And let's uh, let's Sledgehammer. That's all we got. Really, we got to take all of our prizes on these Alola Ninetales with this Sledgehammer. It's fine. I'm not asking if you prefer Celebi Venusaur, though I do respect your opinion. I think that I just want to know if you think he's cool. <laughs> or if you think he's not cool. Cool? Not cool. All right, fellas. I think the Eevee Snorlax is just so wonderful. Let's see. Eevee and Snorlax tin promo. Let's see if they got... Where can I find the artwork for this, this fella? Just... Would you look at him? Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. He's so cool. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys. We're going to need, like, some Guzma action here, probably. Uh, I don't want this Oddish to ever evolve. So I'm thinking that we need to... Sure, let's bring up the Oddish. The Jirachi. Stellar Wish. All right. We got Guzma and Escape Rope. Probably another Guzma seems good. And then I got Switch in my hand. Probably, oh uh, yeah, they're scooping it up. All right, guys, we got there. Peter's Fight Boys deck. Just solid enough to beat uh, a flock of Alola Ninetales. Very good. I do Trainer for Life. I respect that. Man, Zach doesn't think he's cool. Look at him. He's eating, like, some, I don't know, some berries or something. The Eevee is cute. His eyes are all like on the side of his head. Very goofy looking. He's he's amazing. All right, I'm just saying, I think he's amazing. Very, very cool. Anyways, to each their own, okay? Everybody deserves their own opinion. I do think that the like the rainbow background looks amazing too. All of it looks incredible. Just saying. <laughs> Is it a flock? A pack? A herd? <laughs> I think it's probably a pack, right? Yeah, Zach, one is for cool. I was talking to another Zach. Zach Pra, you're not the only Zach in the chat. There's also another Zach in the chat. It's not you. I'm not talking to you, Zach Pra. You are Zach Pra. Zach Pra, you are forever Zach Pra. The other Zach that I'm talking about 
is uh, uh, is Idiots Are Us. He is Zach from Canada. All right. Do not get yourself con confused with Zach from Canada. So, multiple Zachs. I understand it can get confusing. That's why I never call Andrew Dankus Andrew. I mean, things are just going to get way too confusing if I call Andrew Dankus Andrew. So he's forever Dankus. And I guess I am Mahone. Right. As you see, Dankus in the chat calling me Mahone. Right. We refer to each other by our last names because first names are the same. Looks like we are playing against some other Fight Boys deck. Interestante, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Zach meets Zach. <laughs> Zach also meets Zach. Very good. <laughs> oh, is it called a murder of crows? That's crazy, right? Think about uh, my my favorite group name for animals is by far a gaggle, right? A gaggle of geese. Think about that. Why is why are geese called a gaggle? Are they called a gaggle, right? Is that I think that's correct. Or am I just like making that up? So anyways, I think that that is uh why are you, man, you guys mess with my name so much on this channel. So much disrespect. All right, let's Brooklyn home. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. Let's go team. We're going to get that Diancie and she's going to use her princess cheers ability real good. Give me 50 more damage, 20 more damage, 50 damage total. Really wish I had a Kakui in my hand. That would be insane I think I actually, man, I should have, I did this the wrong way, guys. I did this the wrong way. All right. I actually think I'm going to, I'm going to fail. I should have, I should have done this first. All right. We're going to, we're going to just goose with that data. All right. That's what we're doing here. Should have done the Brooklet Hill after, but I was like really anxious and didn't really look at my hand. But yeah, we should have Brooklet Hilled after after we Guzmud. It's fine though. Stay in the course here. They ain't got a one hit knockout on this Buzzwell. They ain't got it like that. Have you ever happened to happened upon a cauldron of bats? That's right. Scoop it up to a sir sir. Grammar time. Man, you thought I wasn't going to bop that ditto. Man, you thought. You thought. Watch me fail that Brooklyn Hill. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Got him. All right. He must have had a lot riding on that ditto. Because is it really an army of frogs? It's, no, there's no way it's an army of frogs, right? A gaggle of geese, I feel like, is still the best, like, for sure. But there's no way it's an army of frogs. Is it really an army of Frogs, that seems outlandish, to say the least. Highly outlandish. Do it, do I the wet. Do it, he wet. Do it, Hewitt. Oh my gosh. All right, his name's Do It Hewitt. Uh, I was like trying to figure out this dude's name. It's definitely do it, Hewitt. But I was like, is it do I the wet? Is it do I he wet? <laughs> uh, coffee at PTCGO while responding to emails. Pretty good way to spend the morning before meetings begin. That's awesome, Landon. Glad you're having a good time, dude. Thank you for joining us. Playing against a Charizard deck here. Look at that Charmander. Aw. Is in the rain reminds me of that early episode. You all know. Early episode of the Pokemon anime. Charizard is in the rain. Charmander. It's Charmander. Charmander's in the rain. His tail's about to burn out. Y'all remember the story, right? All right, Dankus. There's no way it's a business of ferment of, of furts. There's no way, right? That can't be real, right? That can't be real. I'm gonna call your bluff. Dankus, there's no way it's a business of furrets. That doesn't make any sense. A shiver of sharks. There's no way. That Charmander looking very sad. Reminds me of Ash's Charmander that almost had his tail burnt out. They had to rush him to the Pokemon Center. So sad. So, so sad. And again, we are playing the Buzzwell deck and start a pretty... 
That's not, it's, there's no way, Mr. Soda King, that it's a consortium of crabs. <laughs> there's no way. A lot of these I would have had no idea. Now all of a sudden my gaggle of geese is not looking nearly as funny as some of these ones. Mbot asks, what's my favorite type of bagel? What a, uh, what an interesting question. It's easily everything though. Everything bagel is the best kind. But I really prefer, I also like salt bagels and pretzel bagels, like pretzel, like soft pretzel kind of bagels or whatever, but everything bagel is, is the best. But I love it even more if it's got a little bit of salt on it. If they have some salt in the everything, in the everything combo, then I'm really a happy camper. Okay, looks like we've got pretty, yeah, that's a pretty interesting looking hand there. I believe that everything bagel is the correct answer. Yes, there is no other correct answer for sure. Let's Cynthia, see what we get. All right, it's looking like kind of a slow starter here with the Buzzwall deck. That's okay, still have not, <laughs> have not chat. I have not seen or smelt or heard of a Riolu yet. That's for sure. I have not even seen one, not even close. Uh, sure, I don't think there's any harm in putting that abs all down. And let's just, yep, haunch. I think we just go double Charmanders and just try to soften those guys up. That's probably for the best. And then we'll come in and sledgehammer real good. A group of bagels is known as a dozen. Thank you, Lick Your Elbow. Thank you for that. That is a, that's the kind of, that's the kind of content that I stream for, all right? That's what I'm talking about. This morning I have an apple. You guys check that out. Natalie bought these. Thank you, Natalie. I'm very excited about this apple, but I did already have my everything bagel. So the apple will be for later when I start to get hungry here at Full Grip Games. So they are playing the Meganium version of the Charizard deck. I'm not sure that I love the Meganium version. I think the dude who finished in the top 32 of the Cans Regional, he kind of had like the, he had the best idea, in my opinion. You just rock that 1-1 one, one Alola Ninetales line and pretty much just use Jirachi to set the deck up. I think that that is, in my opinion, the best way to do this. Now look at this man. You ain't got nothing. Do it, Hewitt. You ain't got nothing in your hand, bro. You ain't got nothing going on in that hand. You are just, you know, really just rocking on that top deck there, hoping for the best. So because I know that, you already know this is going to go badly for you. Let's see. Uh, I would love to Guzma. That's what I want to do. I want to Guzma Meganium, but I don't actually have any more energy in my hand. I don't want to just leave this Buzzwall active. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, so I think we kind of have to Cynthia here. Brooklyn Hill. I actually don't really want to Brooklyn Hill. I'm giving my opponent some free search there, but it's cool. It's all good. Want to get that Diancie out, and we're just going to Cynthia. See if we can find some more action. That's the kind of action I, I came here for. All right, 30, 60, 80. Ooh, he could be dead. He's dead, super dead. 30, 60, 80, right? 80 plus 50. That's not dead. But if he uses Roaring Resolve, he will be dead. So that's good enough for me. Okay, we've got the Jirachi as well. And we're gonna get Paunch. Probably toss that, yeah, toss that 30 damage over there. And now you're in trouble, sir. You cannot Roaring Resolve. You cannot pass go. You cannot collect 200. Ain't got nothing. So that's pretty good. And now the Charizard deck is in trouble. Uh, they will have to Roaring Resolve to KO themselves and then probably Beacon or something crazy like that. I know, right? I'm gonna send him the smiley face. There you go. We got him, boys and girls. <laughs> Omega, it was not difficult for me to log on today. Uh, it was actually totally fine. Will the do it, <laughs> will the do it wet, do it the wet concede? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, he is going to knock out his own Charizard though. Hey, there we go. Busted. 
We got a Lucario. I'm convinced that this deck does not need Lucario. We have been doing just fine without that whole Lucario thing in here. Though it probably does. If you're playing against a faster deck like Picaram, then being able to knock out a Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX for one energy is just really, really good. All right, guys. Y'all ready for this? There we go. Let's get rid of both Charmanders, dude. Yes. We'll do it the wet concede. I don't know. Let's get ourselves a Riolu, though. Okay. And then Stellar Wish. Ooh, that is Rolla. Guzma. I'm kind of just feeling like being super aggressive here. We're just going to take out whatever. Now, I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure we're knocking out this Charmander. Yeah, 80. Yo. Let's get it. Dude. Goodbye, Charmanders. Hello, prize cards. Thank you. Yeah, it's rough life out here being a Charizard deck. Yeah, Jet Punch still really, really good. 2019. Jet Punch still got the technology to get there. <laughs> what do we got going on? I would love uh, a Pokemon move that would just give me $200. <laughs> uh, I also would love a Pokemon move that it's like Payday on Meowth in the games, you know? Where Payday, you know, Meowth would just use Payday and then you would just like get some coin. Uh, I wish there was a real life version of that. Wouldn't that be nice? And yes, T4H, you can follow Natalie's link there in my YouTube channel. I play Metadex every day of the week. You can check out my YouTube videos for some good ideas on what decks are relevant in standard format on PTCGO. I think just as a quick note, lightning stuff, probably good to invest into. Fire stuff, probably good to invest into. So you could probably look at a Blacephalon deck or a, uh, or a Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX deck, and those decks will probably both be legal and relevant for a couple of years, if I had to guess. So I think those would be great places to start as a new player. So, yeah, uh, Buzzwall is relevant. Yes, just finished in the top eight of the, uh, of the Collinsville Regional Championships. Oh, yeah, Buzzwall doing your thing out here. Check you out, man. You're going to 6-0 your opponents. Let's get it, Buzzwall. Let's go, Buzzwall. Yeah, give me that guy. Yeah, give me give me that Charmander, bro. You ain't doing nothing. Ain't got nothing going on. Sure. Why don't you just grab another Guzma? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, all right. It's about scoop 30. Yeah. Uh, I was saying this on my video the other day. I don't know. I may have... Uh, I may have tanked my ELO rating. Where is your ELO rating, by the way? Can you like look? Is it possible to see what your like win ratio is on your account? Is it possible to see that anywhere? I'm level zero, apparently. Hmm. I don't know. Is it possible to see like your overall wins and losses? That would be kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't think so. Elo is hidden, huh? Anyways, I think I tanked my Elo. You can look with like certain decks. It shows you with certain, but that's no fun, right? Pablo Rom, dude, seven and one, or six and one. That's what I'm talking about. Busted deck. But uh, I think I probably tanked my Elo. There's a stats tab. Where's that, Dankus? Where's the stats tab? I don't see it. Look it up in statistics. In your level tab, you can see your total damage and wins. Ooh, where is it? In your level tab. Oh, let's go there. Ooh, statistics. I've never been here. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Man. I have <laughs> Look at these. I have almost played 5,000 games, dude. 4,894 games. Total game points, 9,000 game points. Total time played, 31 days. Tournament rep. Okay, yeah, we don't play tournaments. All right. 361 upset wins. Ooh. Uh, we have 1,157,175 cards. That's pretty decent. 
number there. All right, total damage taken. That's right, my total damage done. Way bigger than my total damage taken. Just saying. All right, way bigger. Look at that. That is way bigger. Collection stats. Different cards owned. 7,101. That's a pretty decent number. Most of one card. Stuffle from Guardians Rising. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. I have no complete sets, apparently. Oh wow. That's cool. Thank you guys. I didn't know that. We've almost played 5,000 games on this account. All right. Thank you so much. Leon, Leoncio Zamora. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for that sub, man. Thank you for all your support, dude. Thank you so much. Sub hype. Send Leon. Say Leon. Let's say. Let's send Mr. Zamora some emotes. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Man, I'm barely getting my words out of my mouth today. All right, let's play some more games. We have got Pablo Ram, everybody. Let's play some Pablo Ram. It's a deck that I'm considering for the cup this weekend. Uh, I should start getting my account level up. Uh, what do you have to do to get your account level up? I don't even know. Leo. All right, Leo. You got it, man. I was going to say, I always butcher your first name, and I feel so bad about that. I always said Leoncio. Uh, Leoncio? Leo. We'll call you Leo. That works. <laughs> Thank you, Leo, for that sub, dude. You rock. You rock, Leo. Complete the daily challenges. Ugh, daily challenges. <sighs> Guys, should I complete daily challenges or should I just play games? Completing daily challenges uh, would give some direction to my streaming, not going to lie. But then, you know, ugh, we're going to have to like do damage with fire types and things like that. I don't, I don't really want to do all that. Let's see here. I think we actually start with the, yeah, we start with the Zapdos. All right. KO challenges after level 16 give tradable packs. Ooh. Level 30 increases bragging rights. Huh. So, I don't know. Isn't it like, ooh, what do we got here? We're going first. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. All right, Mr. Krabs, let's go. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? We're going to get a... Thunderclap zone. And we're going to go and retreat. Skrrr. Let's put that guy in the active stellar wish. And a lily. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Busted deck. Busted, broken, filthy deck. Oh, my gosh. Lily for six. Whoa, guys. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd say that that Blacephalon is probably about to get uh, just smacked for knockout turn two with the Zapdos, bro. Oh, my gosh. All right, chat. Press one in the chat. No, don't let, don't let loose this hand, bro. I love this hand. Hey, y'all talking. Y'all talking smack. I wanted to keep that hand. I wanted to keep that, bro. We were going to Stellar Wish. I was easily going to find a choice band and just smack that dude. Oh, it's all good. We could play from here. This matchup seems easy mode, honestly, for Pikaram. I am like not really worried about this at all. Honestly, this seems like seems pretty great. Having the Pikachu and Zekrom can take big one in knockouts. Zapdos can soften things up. That's what I'm saying, Leo. That would have been a dope hand. We would have been cool with our top deck. We would have looked at six new cards, and all we needed was one more Electro Power to take a, just like, bash that dude with a Zapdos. There's no better feeling than just getting like an insane amount of Electro Powers and taking a gigantic knockout with Zapdos that your opponent wasn't expecting. Uh, like, I've knocked out Jolteons with Zapdos. Just like, choice ban. Three Electro Powers. Boom. All right. So let's see. How can we take my opponent to Punish Down? 
see what we got going on here. We're gonna probably, uh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's Stellar Wish first, see what we get. See, that's why I didn't play it, dude. That's why I didn't play that Viridian. That's why. I could smell the Thunder Mountain. I could I could smell it there. Check this out. All right. We've got T-Mountain. Okay. We've also got Volkner. Hello. We need an energy switch. Stat. And a lightning energy. Busted. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Throw that over there. And then... I'm thinking, do I full blitz for knockout or do I full blitz for not knockout? Huh. And then where do I put my energy? Right. I think full blitzing for not knockout is probably the play, but can he technically get enough to knock me out? Thank you, uh, MIB Nation, for the sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I think we go for not knockout. He could do one, two, three, four. He can't knock me out if I don't. So we're gonna say full blitz. We got a lot of people saying KO, just go for it. I don't know, all right? I think not, right? I think we go not, and then we maybe go for like Guzma next turn, though that is asking a lot. Oh, he's down to one B string? Sure, all right, let's do it. If he's down to one B, B string. Let's just let's just out trade this dude. All right, that's fine. Now yeah, we're just gonna toss those on the zero aura. That's fine. I think we're probably just gonna out trade this guy. Uh, I also had a dead hand. Like if I had the Guzma in hand, it would have been. Um, if I had the Guzma in hand, it would have been different. I think, but like I didn't have it, so like I actually didn't have a way to like to do this, right? He's not down to one beast ring remaining. Dankus, you lied to me. You lied. He's got a head full of them. <laughs> oh, I think he's down one beast ring, not down to one. Oh, Dankus, you told me he was down to one beast ring. Oh, Dankus. Dankus, Dankus, Dankus. Now we for sure lose. <laughs> Connor, if I had put the energy on the active, we would have definitely lost, right? So this is everything my opponent could have possibly dreamed of here. I was feeling fine, man. I was feeling like this matchup was going to be a breeze. Yeah. Lo and behold, this is not good. So it's fine. It's fine, chat. Listen, just a couple deep breaths, okay? We don't really play any sort of hand disruption. That's fine. He's about to get rid of five energy. He can't do it again, all right? He ain't gonna do it again. We're fine. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> we still got this, bro. We still got this. So he's about to get rid of five energy, and then I just need to keep him from... Right, he's got that energy there on the bench. Ideally, we knock out this guy. We hit Guzma here and take out that Blacephalon. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, yeah, let's Stellar Wish see what we can get. Escape Rope, Guzma, 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 very good. Okay, so now we need, we need to get a KO on that Bench plus Cephalon, I think. If I knock out the active, he can still go attach, charge up, charge up, knock out. So I think I want to, I want to stop him. Okay. And then this is a little bit of a high risk play. It's fine though. All right. We need to retreat and find Choice Band. Hey. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get it, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go. We've got it. Boom. Boom, bring them out. All right. You ain't got it like that, bro. You ain't got it like that. Let's go. You ain't got a knockout. You off your B string turn. Let's go. 
He might not have had energy in his discard pile, Dankus, but that's not to say he couldn't get it there. He has one, okay? I just put it there. So, now he is stuck. He can only get three energy into play. Choice Band is not gonna get him the win. I've got Switch in my hand. What you got, man? What you got? You can't possibly take the win here. So, we are back in the driver's seat. That was a perfect rip off those Stellar Wishes, exactly what I needed. So let's see what he can do. He could probably let loose me again. That would be pretty good, right? Get me out of this busted hand that I'm in. But with all these switch cards left in deck and Volkner's, I can easily just find Volkner for switch and that'll get the, my Zorora back in the active position. We can Stellar Wish for switch. Oh, Mbot. Oh, thank you so much. You resubbed, but it didn't register. Hey. Mbot, shout out to you. Thank you so much. And you've got the Weavile little badge there. Thank you so much, Mbot. Appreciate you. Yeah. Let's send you some, some emote action going on. We're going to give you the Misty Wow. Yeah. Boom. Dark Integral Gaming. Thank you so much, man. Dark Integral in the chat, everybody. 500 bits. Thank you so much, Dark Integral. You rock, man. Big fan. Donald in the chat, everybody. Let's share some busted emotes for Donald. Thank you so much, Donald. Dark Integral Donald, everybody. He's got a super sweet stream as well as a YouTube channel. Of course, if you don't know about Dark Integral Donald, definitely check him out. He rocks. Thank you so much for the kindness, Donald. Appreciate it. I need to start following um, your channel. Let's go over to Dark. I'm going to go Dark Integral. Dark Integral Gaming. I need to make sure that I am fully aware, Donald, of when you're online so that I can raid you and stuff. I would love to do that. So, there we go. I am now, let's see, now following your channel, Donald. And I want to make sure that I get to raid you sometime for sure because you rock, man. So, I'm going to keep tabs on that. All right. Back to the game. Let's go. All right. We can switch, right? Yeah, we just got it. We got it like that. Let's go. Boom. Yeah, didn't get there. Sorry, man. And we can Plasma Fist. Ah, oh, he got there before me. So, anyways. GG's, though. We got there with our Lightning Lads. Very good. Pablo Ram, everybody. Still rocking. Saying that that matchup was going to be a layup, but then things got a little bit sketchy there when my opponent took three prizes. <laughs> right? Just like, just like that. The game can really escalate quickly. Fortunately, having the Lost Zone 5 energy really does kind of clean their board out and can make that follow-up knockout a real tough one to, uh, to chalk up. We're working on our ELO rating. I said I tanked my ELO rating the other day because I was trying to test my new card in the deck theory, right? So I was just like rolling a bunch of games and like and quitting them. I probably rolled like 10 games and quit them real fast. So I had like a 10 game loss streak because I was trying to test my theory. So now we're climbing our way back up. Feeling pretty good about it. All right, we've got Jirachis, we've got Zapdoses, we've got Pika Roms. Okay, 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 let's get it. We'll go here. Lilith for six big ones. Thank you, Lily. We'll also go get ourselves a, probably, eh, probably that. That's probably fine. And Stellar Wish. See what we can find here. Another Nest Ball, another Switch, another Skateboard. I think, honestly, just another Nest Ball is cool. Guzma's cool too, though, to be honest. Guzma, I got a Lele in my hand. Technically, I can Guzma if I need to. I think, yeah, let's just let's just get a Guzma. That or the energy switch. Ooh, energy switch could also be good. You can get kind of like an explosive turn here. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy switch or, wow, well, I'm really taking too long on this. All right, Nest Ball. Hmm, Guzma. Guzma. Guzma as it is. All right. So I guess I could have gotten Absol there. I actually really want to 
cycle through my deck a little bit too because getting this lightning in my hand means that next turn I'll be able to uh, use Dance of the Ancients and attach and then just like Guzma and full blitz whoever I want for knockout. That's kind of like, that's kind of my thought process, right? So wanted to make sure I hate to give my opponent Viridian Forest. That's like not what you want to do, but having this lightning in my hand for next turn means that I'm going to get a turn two full blitz, which is really, really good. So that's, that's kind of what we're thinking. And then grabbing the Guzma means that I can target down whoever I want to. Uh, that's that's kind of where we're where we're headed here. Absol would have been good. Could have disrupted my opponent a little bit and maybe kept them. <laughs> hey, you like that edgy the procrastination station? I've been trying to think of like witty things to put in my tweets and my uh, you know my YouTube community tab when I go live procrastination station. I've decided to call my morning streams can be the procrastination station. Okay, my opponent just going in with the old Zapdos. That's cool. So if we go, we need an energy switch if we do that, or I can Guzma. Actually, Guzma is like very strong right now because knocking out that Jirachi means that my opponent might just get stuck with nothing to do. So I'm kind of into that. We're going to nest ball for sure. Yep. Yeah. Let's just get ourselves. Uh, my Absol is in here. That's good. So we could get Absol, and then I can discard one of these energies with Viridian. Dance of the Ancients. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And Viridian. Boom. And then let's dance of the ancients. Go, 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 go. Toss those fellows over there. And we're gonna full blitz that uh, youngster Jirachi over there. Yeah, I didn't stand a chance. Sorry, Jirachi. And I guess, yeah, this is kind of an all in call here, all right? We're saying we hope that they ain't got Ultra Ball in their hand to go get, I mean, if we full blitz to the active here, uh, if we full blitz to the active, we're just saying like, you ain't got a Coco GX this turn. They ain't got it. I think with the turn one Volkner, we're saying they ain't got it. All right, we're saying they ain't got it. We ain't got it like that. Let's go, let's go. I remember playing against Pablo. He never did this to me at Collinsville. But I remember being a Zapdos player, I was always like, if he does this, I lose. And then he never did because he was scared of the Coco GX. So I'm just saying, no fear. No fear. He ain't got it like that. Not without no Jirachi. Now, okay, sure enough, he's got the Jirachi and the Switch. So hold on tight, guys. This could go bad. This could go really, really poorly if he gets it. <laughs> I think we, like, for sure lose. Uh, we for sure just lose the game. It will not be any contest. A choice band. Yes. That's the kind of card we want to see. Definitely. Now, he needs another bench Pokemon or else he's losing this game. Because I can just tag ball for game. Sometimes all in is the maneuver. Look at that, second lightning. Does he have it? He has to Lily for, oh no, he's Viridian. Come on. Oh, he's gonna Lily for three and hope he just grabs it. He needs an Ultra Ball and a Coco Prism Star in order to get it and he scoops it up. That's right. Dude, we knew he ain't had it like that. We knew it, called it. Called his bluff, man. He did not have that Coco GX in that hand. I knew it. Not with a turn one Volkner. That hand was probably way too weak. Way too weak. Gmon, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that we just put the pressure on there. Uh, getting a turn two full blitz against a Zapdos deck a lot of times will just win you the game. If you try to play too conservatively, then you give them more turns to build up a hand that has the Coco in it. So I think like going in for the tag bolt early there just means that I win, I win, right? Because he just didn't have a response. So he literally has to just scoop up his cards, uh, which is uh, 
uh, it's a valid way to win against Zapdos with Pika Rock. Honestly, a lot of times uh, players will be conservative and play around the Coco GX when really, uh, if you try to play around the Coco GX, a lot of times you play yourself into a hole that loses you the game anyway. So you kind of have to just put it all out there and hope that your opponent doesn't have it. Because you can't really play like a... The Picarom deck can't play like a Zapdos deck. I mean, eventually you're going to go like... You're going to trade two Zapdoses for two Zapdoses. Then you'll be at four prizes. Then you might try to trade a Jolteon, right? But even then, then you might be at two prizes remaining. Even if Jolteon just trades two for two... Then you need to try and whip up a Picaram out of nowhere, and by then they'll definitely have the Coco GX in their hand, right? So, like, I feel like Picaram early is probably the best route. That's just my opinion, though. Could be wrong. We are going to... Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's get it, chat. We're going to go get some things. Go get some things going on here. I feel like I might be able to get... We could just get a Zapdos, honestly. It's like not an exciting play, but it's probably the play. No, no, chat, no. There's no other Zapdos in my deck. All right. Uh, okay, so we could Guzma. If we get, okay. We could get the Jolteon. Yeah, and then we can, huh, could be a lily hand, guys. Feeling like we get the Eevee. Okay, and then I can go attach. Not like what I am dying to do here, but we can, all right, okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right, we're going Jolt Dog. That's what we got. All right. Oh, let's go Jolt Dog. Now is your time, Jolteon. And we will get rid of that. Probably the Lily, to be honest. I'll Erica's next turn. Hello, Coco. Thank you for joining us. It's time for you to dance of the enchants, Coco. Yes, you dance very well, Coco. Excellente. And then we will Guzma up that man and just give him the old razzle-dazzle. Just a head bolt to the head. Charmander, goodbye. And we've got Free Retreat and Zapdos next turn, which is very good for us as well. So I could even Volkner, you know, I could get the Lightning Energy for my Zapdos. Well, thank you so much, Abzug. Thank you. Glad you got to enjoy the stream there. Uh, Gmon, he needed two items to win the game automatically. Yes, he needed Nest Ball and he needed Ultra Ball. But my knowledge of the Zapdos deck, I know Ultra Ball is only a two of in that deck. I know he didn't play a turn one supporter in that hand. Like, he didn't have Jirachi either. So I was thinking that he didn't have it. And it was a big ask. And from playing Zapdos, I know it's not easy to get the turn two Coco GX, especially without a Jirachi in the active. All right. Let's go and, because if he had more, I knew he didn't have Nest Ball or else he would have played more Nest Balls on his first turn. So, let's go here and, yeah, okay, we just got, we got hit, okay. We're going to Volkner, I believe. Okay, so let's see, I actually didn't do the math yet. We're at 80, 110. 110 puts him in a highly compromising situation um, because then he cannot... Roaring Resolve, or he knocks himself out. So that's kind of cool. I'm actually fine with that. So let's get ourselves an Electro Power. Could you please calm down? Seven seconds. Done. All right. Or I could just knock it out with the Jolteon. That's cool, too. I think I'll probably just do that. Fine with it. Sure. Switch around GX. Let's just do that. Let's just take him out, make ourselves invincible. It's probably fine. Yeah. Probably not a lot of way that he responds to that and has to pass a turn. So if Jolteon can take three prizes, eh, we're going to be good. You know, trading two for three is excellente. 
So we'll take it. We will take it for surely. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning, by the way. It's been an awesome stream, awesome stuff. And thank you guys all so much for the subs. Everybody who supports me, subs to the channel, all the uh, Patreon subs as well. I want to take a moment to thank you guys for all that you do to support me and the YouTube channel and the Twitch channel as well. All right, so we're feeling like, yeah, we're probably going. Jagger Pit, thank you so much. Second month in a row, Jagger Pit. Appreciate the support, my dude. All right, we're going to go in with Zapdos and just take a knockout on that Charmander there. Leave the Jolteon back in the shadows. And we're hoping that this guy softens himself up with the Roaring Resolve and that Jolteon will be able to take another knockout. Jagger Pit, you've missed uh, some pretty good games so far, but it's all good. Honestly, I've been on pretty decent win streak this morning. I feel like I haven't really lost too many. Maybe one? I don't know. It's been pretty, pretty sweet, to be honest. All right, we've got Jirachi, a skateboard, Ultra Ball away. Those. Let's get ourselves probably... Ooh, that's actually really strong. Yeah, we're going in with Coco GX. Now's your time, Coco. Let's uh, retreat into the Jirachi, Stellar Wish. Uh, we don't really need any of these at all, but it's cool. I think I'm just going to pass. Nothing wrong with the free Stellar Wish, though. And then we're going to... Yeah, let's take those energies onto the Coco. And we got Exaxes for knockout and a Lily for six with Sky High Claws. So that's good. That Ditto ain't really doing too much over there. I'm not worried about it. Boom. You go, Glenn Coco. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, E Park. How have I not ever noticed that? That I could call. Coco GX, Glen Coco. Man, that is so funny. Thank you for that excellent meme. You go, Glen Coco. You go. I played one with Malamar and promptly lost because I'm not into this deck. I'm <laughs> just not. Oh, I don't like it. All right. Other than that, we've been having good success with uh, everything else. It's been going well. Sure, sure, sure. So let's, let's try and ruin this win streak. We'll try Malamar again. I have not seen Mean Girls on Broadway. I just have seen Mean Girls a bunch on DVD. Because it's a very funny movie. Love it. How is the Broadway show, though? Have you seen it, Jagger Pit? Please inform. I want to know. <laughs> you bet I've seen it 25 times. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've probably seen it a handful of times. No, I've not seen it on Broadway. I've seen the movie probably three times. Uh, I did get to see uh, The Book of Mormon, okay, by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. I saw The Book of Mormon on Broadway, and that was hysterical. That was really, really, really funny. Oh, why, chat? Why, 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 why? Oh, why? Please save me from this. I don't want to play against this. Let's see, at least there is a let loose Marshadow. All right, we can win this game. Um, yeah, we're going for big turn one Lily here. That's fine. Gonna get a bunch of Malamars in play. Ultra Ball away, the Guzma, and the Choice Ban. I don't think we'll be needing that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to nest ball again. Probably grab. Who's like the best for knocking this thing out early? I don't know. Giratina is probably not the best. Marshadow actually hits a lot of these guys for weakness. That's kind of dope. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, Marshadow could be good. Go Regigigas. Hit him for weakness. More Shadow seems fine. Yep. To be honest, as an attacker, and then we're going to Ultra Ball again. Okay. That seems cool. Sure. 
Hey, let's get rid of Guzman, choice ban. Goodbye, sirs. Get ourselves probably, uh, probably a Jirachi. Seems cool. Get me things out of the deck. Another Inke seems cool as well. Sure. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna Lily for seven. That seems fine. Got ourselves some energy, sweet, uh, a skateboard. All right. Uh, I think that there's not really too much else to do. Just attach the energy and pass. Probably fine. I guess I could. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Yep. I don't know. I feel like that energy should be in the discard pile. So actually, we're just going to retreat. That's fine. All right, go ahead, sir. I was thinking that we're going to save the let loose for a little bit later, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to save the let loose for when his hand starts to get a little bit scary. I mean, he's going to start with, that, with the Bill's analysis turn one. Uh, I want to get it when he's like starting to stack his hand with Stevens. That's when like you need to let loose him, right? So that's kind of what we're thinking of here. Ooh, counter gain. All right, this is not your typical. What is this? Not your typical stall deck. He plans on attacking with these guys. Oh boy, howdy. Okay. A little bit of a surprise there. Didn't necessarily see this coming, but. It's all good, it's all good, it's cool. I wish I had a way to discard uh, one of these guys, that'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Sure, we'll go skateboard, we'll go here. Well, I guess, feels bad either way. I like to not want to, Lily for two, but we're about to, there we go, sick. So, I think I actually just Mysterious Treasure, discard the Ultra Necrozma. It's fine. Get myself another Malamar. Ooh, or Let Loose. Ooh, I could do that. I mean, that seems kind of bad. No. Let's see. We got one in the discard pile. That actually is enough to knock this thing out, right? Yeah. And it does like 20 plus 80. Yeah, that is enough to knock the dude out. I actually do kind of want to draw more cards. So... That's that's fine. We'll probably just put the pressure on and see if we can uh, make it happen here. Off of the old let's loose. And this is actually excellent. I can counter the shrine. And then uh, I guess I can mysterious treasure again, right? Which is cool. Get myself something else, probably another Malamar. Into it, sure. We'll go, yeah, yeah, we'll get that guy, that's cool, and then just go here, he's going to drat, well, yeah, you know, he probably is going to do that, but it's cool, I will figure it out, figure that out later, all right, haven't quite figured it out yet, how much hit points that guy got? You know, we could start attacking with the Marshadow. So, you know, let's see if I charge onto. We could also Psychic Sphere this thing for knockout, too. That's like. Sure, maybe I actually start to Psychic Sphere. You never know. And yeah, we might Psychic Sphere. Uh, Photon Geyser. Yeah, goodbye. Sick. So, yeah, if he doesn't have a basic Pokemon, I could potentially Psychic Sphere. Oh, what's up, Donald? Take it easy, man. Thank you for hanging out. If you wish to battle my Genesex Venusaur deck, I can give you a shout out at 9 p.m. today on my YouTube channel. Yeah, Dark Integral. Uh, I could definitely do that. Sorry I didn't see the, uh, the thing. That sounds good, man. Uh, I could definitely arrange that. 
Donald, if you're still there, let's uh, let's get it going. I definitely will play against your play against your Venusaur deck if you're still online. But if you quit, it's fine. I would love to get a viewer battle in with Dark Integral, the Dark Integral sometime, for sure, for sure. But it sounds like you probably have... Uh... Oh, are you here? Hey! All right, Donald's still here. Sick, yeah, we could definitely get something going, Donald. Let's see, send me a... There we go. Yeah, send me a friend request, Dark Integral. My name is Enjoy Friend, E-N-J-O-Y Friend. All right, what did he do? Did he get rid of anything? Yes, he did. So I guess ugh, we have to go and actually kind of, I do have a knockout on him, which is kind of nice, right? We could just get ourselves another Psychic Energy. And then I can go here, Psychic Recharge, and knock out the, the rig with my Marshadow, which is cool. Or with my Malamar, right? Sick. Sphere. Goodbye. So that guy was very annoying. Don't appreciate you putting my energy in the Lost Zone, dude. But with the Ultra Necrozma out of my discard pile, now I have no attackers to copy with the Marshadow. So it is just going to be Psychic Sphere Town here for uh, a little bit. A little bit for sure. But yes. <laughs> but yes, Donald, that should be fun. You said you had a Venusaur, right? A Venusaur deck? <laughs> that does sound like a good time. Uh, I have not been able to make Venusaur Genesect work at all. I've tried a couple of times, but I haven't gotten results that I have wanted, so... I would be excited to see how your list operates, Donald, for sure, for sure. This is, a uh, uh, yeah, this is just going to take a little while, unfortunately, but it's all good. I can just start building this thing up, and we're going for another Psychic Sphere. It's Enjoy Friend. And then I'll check for a friend request after this, uh... <laughs> I know, you're watching. It is it is there, right? Oh, no, it's actually covered up by the Full Grip logo. That's fine. Oh, and here we are in Max Potion Town. If I can just draw into an attacker, I can send it to the discard pile with Viridian Forest again. That'd be pretty good. Oh, no, a Hoopa, dude. Ancient Crystal, what is this? Oh, my gosh. You're telling me I couldn't have just drawn into the Cynthia one turn previously. Oh, no. That feels bad, guys. It's just Cynthia. I think we just, like, definitely lose now. I don't think that there's any way around it. Like, this is just... This is just going to be bad, right? I mean, with the Hoopa there, we all know I can't actually beat a Hoopa, right? I mean, not if it's, like, healing and stuff. It's just going to be, like... Just way too long of me trying to me trying to fight my way out of this, but it, it, it's cool. It's cool. All right, yeah. thirty damage with the oh uh, with the Malamar feels horrible. Okay, thinking this might be yeah. Look at me losing again with Malamar. Right, just saying. Oh Mars, please Mars things out of my hand. That's great. Love that. I love it when you do that. Another Cynthia. All right. It's fine. Carry on. <laughs> okay. So we can go Ultra Ball. I guess I don't need to Ultra Ball. I could just Viridian Forest away that thing. All right. And Retreat. Do I need to Psychic Recharge first? Potentially. Do I have energy in the discard pile? No. Okay. Let's get ourselves something else. That'll help. Maybe a Giratina. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay. 
Now we're going to retreat. Nope. The whole reason I did this, I think I might need to get another psychic energy onto my marsh. I didn't do the math. Okay. And yeah. I think we're going to photon geyser. Very good. No, I realize this now. I needed to leave that bench spot open for the Tina. But it's all good. Yeah, we'll uh, figure this out. I think this guy plans on attacking. Maybe. He did play a counter gain in his deck, right? So I don't know. Maybe he plans on... Um, the counter gain might have been for the... Actually, now that I'm looking at it, probably was just for the giraffe rig to get lost for free. So not sure why you would play a counter gain over a single copy of energy unless... I guess you can build analysis for it, which is kind of cool, right? So this is kind of horrible now, right? Because now we're going to like three shot this thing with Malamar. We're probably just better off saving ourselves the trouble of doing that. Oh my gosh, right? Like, you guys don't actually want to watch me try to do this, do you? like Psychic Recharge a million times. I'd rather play against Dark Integral Donald, I'm just saying, right? Ooh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Probably is for Lugia GX. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna retreat again. And you go, Malamar, do your thing. All right, 40 damage, fantastic. Thinking it's about time to scoop her up. Yep. I mean, three prizes remaining. We could be here all day. Dankus knows. He played a center deck, a similar deck at Collinsville. Oh, is it the runner up list from Europe? Uh, two lo uh, I'm out. Yep. That was close. <laughs> all right, let's play against Donald. <laughs> I'm out. Goodbye. Yeah. Stall decks, everybody. Cool. Uh, I guess, like, Giratina would have been not bad, but even Giratina doesn't get, like, the knockout on that because of the resistance. So it's tough. I needed to save a bench spot for Giratina, but I just was kind of tilted and not really thinking straight. So let's see if Dark Integral Donald sent me a friend request. Where do we, where do you even find friend requests? There we go. Requests. Huh. Donald, did you send it? All right, which one is, I'm assuming Dark Integral Donald's. Is it one of these? Oh, you're 12 Blue Dolphins. Okay. Would have never guessed. I was expecting something like Dark Integral, but I guess my name also has nothing to do. All right, Donald, what deck do you want me to play? Like, what? what's going to give me a decent matchup against your Venusaur deck. I don't want to, you know, I'm obviously not going to play like the Charizard deck, right? Uh, I think like <laughs> we should try to play something. Yeah, you're right, Savage Berserker. You're right. All right, so what, uh, Donald, what you want me to play, man? I can play the fighting deck. That might give us, like, a nice neutral territory here. A Venusaur Mirror. <laughs> I'm not playing a Venusaur Mirror, bro, no. <laughs> I can play Venusaur GX, right? <laughs> play Stall version? No. Oh, no, no, no. All right, we'll either play, like, a Lightning deck, um... Or we'll play uh, Buzzwall. All right. And also, how many games do you want, Donald? Uh, I'll play Jolteon or Fighting. Both those seem fair. 
All right, just one game. All right, we're going to play the fighting deck, Peter. Or not Peter. Peter's fighting deck. Donald. Let's get it. All right, I'm going to request you. Let's see. Just standard. Just fighting decks. Where are you? Peter's fighting deck. All right. We're going to play that. All right, everybody. We're playing a game against Dark Integral. Donald showed up in my stream today. Thank you so much, uh, Dark Integral, for the support. Toss me some bits as well. You're the man. We're going to be playing a game for the YouTube channel, so it should be a lot of fun here. Uh, Donald said that he would run this on his channel tonight, so should be good time. I am playing Peter Keitza's fighting deck from the top eight of the Collinsville Regional Championships against Dark Integrals, I guess, Venusaur Genesect deck. Probably Shining Genesect has that awesome ability that allows it to move grass energies around. And then, of course, there is the, uh, there is the Venusaur that allows your grass energy to count as two. So we've got ourselves a hand here with Buzz Wolves, Galore, Professor Kakui. All right, not exactly the best draw supporter, but you know, it's something. And we're going first, so that's good too. We got an Instructor Ranguru in the active position and Acerola in case I want to end it all. But I'm thinking that we're just going to give it the old Kakuster here. And that's not bad. So we've got ourselves Riolo too, and I'm going to be able to pivot from there. I think we do play some sort of Pokemon based draw in here so we could go there next turn too. And I'm thinking that it's just gonna be a, probably attached fighting and pass. Yeah, go ahead, Donald. Your go. If I am able to, I think we got a Jirachi, right? But no switch cards to get it into the active position. If I'm able to find a Guzma, I can Guzma the thing into the active position, go with a skateboard, right? And pivot out of it, find some more, uh, find some more draw. And there it is, Shining Genesect, that energy reload ability. Once during your turn before you attack, we move a grass energy from one of the other Pokemon to this Pokemon, and Gaia Blaster. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of grass energy attached to this Pokemon. Donald's setting up pretty good here. He's got a turn one Lily, double Nest Balls too. So he is gonna be drawing a ton of cards. And then Ultra Space, who is he getting with that? Oh my gosh. All right, Donald, you've got the Wombo combo going on over here, my man. There is Ultra Space in this deck. He's also getting Naganadels out into play. And the combo is that he can get Naganadels out, recharge energy into play, and then just move them to Shining Genesect. And then Venusaur makes all his grass count as two. So that is a... Uh, that is pretty wild. If he's able to get all these pieces into play, it kind of reminds me of the Quagsire Naganado water deck, just like a little bit more complicated. Fortunately for us, we do top deck here, so that is good. I don't see any GXs on his side of the board, so we'll gladly get rid of the choice band and probably that Ace Rolla. All right, that seems like the maneuver. And get myself Jirachi. There is a Jirachi in this deck, right? No? No Jirachi? Am I just imagining things? Was there ever a Jirachi in here? Never a Jirachi. There was never a Jirachi? Okay, that's fine. We're going to let loose. I thought there there is a Jirachi in this list, right? I just prized it. I'm just saying, there's a skateboard. There's definitely a Jirachi in here, guys. Like, for sure, for sure. Okay. So, I'm thinking that we get the let loose. Uh, feels kind of bad. 30, 50, yeah, I need to draw more cards. Yep. So we're going to do that. I'm also just going to Ultra Space here, get some more. Sure. Yeah, we'll just get some Buzzwolves out. That's cool. We'll go like Buzzwool, Buzzwool. There's like nothing to do with those. So we'll just we'll just draw some more cards. Yep. And all right, we've got Lily. That's better than what we had, so we'll definitely take it. Um and just draw ourselves some more not energy cards. So that's fine. Sure, we'll just get punch. And probably try to soften up that Shining Genesect a little bit and hope that Donald has a little bit of a tough time getting that Oranguru out of the active position. What is up there? Pedro Torres in the chat, everybody. 
Welcome, Pedro. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. We are playing against Dark Integral Donald here on stream. So, I love it. Love it. Very excited. This, uh, this fighting deck just seems to draw the weirdest hands. I played it a bunch now. I mean, this is not my first game with the deck. Dude, if Donald gets... Donald gets the dream here. I mean, he's got a turn two. Turn two Gaia Blaster. That's pretty good. He's smacking this buzzwell for 110 damage. That is not bad at all. He is definitely getting it going here. And I don't have any bench space for, yeah, well, got no bench space for that Diancy right now. It's cool, you know, it's fine. I ain't worried about it. And then he's gonna go get himself Ivysaur and Instruct, dude. Oh, that's amazing. This deck is about to just be popping off. He's got the whole combo. Donald, how do you do it, man? How do you, <laughs> how do you do it, Donald? How do you do it? Oh my gosh, this is insane, right? This is crazy, man. Donald out here just playing with me, Donald. You're playing with me. Okay. How do I not have another energy yet? That's like my major question. But it's cool, you know? I think we just go knock out that Oranguru. The Oranguru kind of seems to be the lifeblood of this deck. So that's fine. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna bring up that Oranguru um, and then just, just do this again. That's, that's fine. And we should be able to probably yeah, I think we've just continued to soften up this guy. Okay, so we'll knock out that that guy. Take a prize. Maybe it's my Jirachi. It's a Cynthia. And we're going to hope to hit a couple of B-strings off of here. We are also going to need to probably take out that Venusaur as soon as it hits the field. Draw for six. Oh, my God. Donald, you're a legend. <laughs> you're a legend, Donald. Look at this. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is crazy, man. Donald out here playing me, dude. Oh my gosh. The shame it too. Dude, say it ain't so, man. This board position is phenomenal. He is doing 170 damage right now. Absolutely wild. And if I, oh boy. If I go up with a GX, it's just gonna be bad. I think I prized my, like, pretty sure I prized my, uh, my Sledgehammer Buzzwell. Pretty sure we prized it. Yeah, he's not here, guys. Yep, Sledgehammer, bu Sledgehammer Buzzwell. Where are you at, bro? Why, why are you not here? All right, Sledgehammer Buzzwell, now is, like, really, really, really your time. Like, now, there was never a time where we needed you more than right now. Okay, so Sledgehammer, he's MIA, he's not here. So we're gonna need to probably switch. Oh, thank you so much, Zach, for the bits, man. <laughs> yep, take it easy, Zach. Thank you so much for the support, man. All right, so I'm thinking he's got 138 points. We need to do 70 damage, 30, 50. Yeah, yeah, I think we're just we're just going into, you know, Lucario here. We kind of have to just hope we hit a fighting energy. That's fine, fine with it. Uh, off of this Cynthia, we did get one. Okay, that's cool. And then I also got Beast Ring. So we can throw some energies down onto a Boswell too and just Aura Strike this thing for knockout. Big shout out to Zach, everybody, for those bits. Hopefully, hopefully you have a great day, man. And thank you for the support, as always. Zach from Canada said you have to go two hours to get some drinking water. Man, Zach really lives out there. Out there. They're polar bears. Uh, he has to, oh my gosh, Dark Integral is about to do, <laughs> he's about to nag a day to me, bro. Oh. oh, don't turning point me, dude. Not with a choice ban. Don't do it. Oh, it's going to be so ugly, man. No, he's just got Kuzma. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so crazy. 
Oh, it's so crazy. This is a feel bad, guys. <laughs> this is the, this deck looks amazing. Oh, Donald, I'm gonna have to check out this video later. This is way too way too hype, dude. One energy. Oh my gosh, you can shaman for one energy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that was a thing, dude. Oh no, Donald, no. Oh, there's no way I can win this game. You're down to two prizes. Oh, that's that's it. I mean. What else could I possibly do? GG's, man. GG's. That is it. Holy moly. All right. What else can I possibly do? Other than Guzmaning up that Venusaur and hoping that he ain't got a way out. That is it. Jet Punch, and uh, yeah, we for sure need like that Shaman to go away, I think, right? It just, there's no real way out of this, but we'll do what we can. I know. Yeah, GG, man. <laughs> that was, that was a, a rough one for sure, dude. <laughs> that was insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With the Shaman Prism Star, Donald. Oh man. Good game, Donald, and thank you for playing. Uh, shout out to Dark Integral, everybody, for showing me the business with his Venusaur deck. That was amazing. All right. Everybody thank Donald in the chat. <laughs> that was too amazing. Oh, my gosh. Getting just smoke showed. I'm having flashbacks to when I was playing uh, Buzz Rock at Memphis Regionals 2017 and played against Venusaur in day two. Uh, that was extremely sketchy. Ended up tying the game, but gosh, it was close, right? Dude, when Venusaur pops off, Venusaur pops off. I have never seen that Shaman attack for that many energy. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dark Enderal, you got a sweet deck there. That is super cool. So thanks for the game, man. And hopefully that makes for some good YouTube content later. Yep, sounds good, man. That, uh, I mean, that, that made that deck look really, really good. So <laughs> if I, hopefully I can, uh, you know, that uh, is something that is good for your, uh, for your channel, making that Venusaur deck just look some flames, dude. That was insane. <laughs> I was really strong and whoop up on that puzzle deck. Whoo! Uh, that is uh, super, super impressive for sure. So, let's see. Double, double uh, mulligan here on the Pablo Rom deck. I'm just hoping, and this looks like it might be a Zorak deck. I am trying to play against, uh, I am trying to play against a Zorak deck with Pablo Rom here. See how that matchup ends up. And this is another great starting hand, honestly. Lily, a skateboard, nest ball, ultra ball. Pretty much exactly what you want to see here in an opening hand. And I am going first. The Zork Greninja. Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay. So I'm thinking here that we just get ourselves a Jirachi Ultra Ball away. Uh, lightning and probably the electro power and just get ourselves a yeah one of those guys and then I think I am just gonna commit that skateboard there and Lily for seven I like keeping the Guzma and this hand is really strong we've got switch I've also got the lightning energy in case I wanted to get the Jolteon into play I don't think I want to though I would rather go for an early Pikaram here so let's switch in that Jirachi and see what we get. I also think I would like to probably thin with Viridian Forest one time. So let's just cycle an energy through. And we'll Stellar Wish. Cool. All right. We got Escape Rope. That's fine. And then I'll attach my energy to the Pikaram. Probably just... I mean, I could just go in while I'm here and get myself the Cocoa, but I'm not... I'm not gonna, we're just gonna pass and see what is going on. 
Sounds good, Donald. Thanks for the games, man. And thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, dude. So, let's see. <laughs> oh, you watched that replay, Lil Will. Yes, that was... Uh, I was definitely not knowing how to play that matchup in game one, and then I kind of figured it out in game two, and then by game three, I was winning, but I couldn't quite close it out, and I ran out of time. But I would have won game three for sure um, if, uh, if I had the time to. Didn't end up mattering anyway, because, uh, let's see, we got Coco, Switch. I think I'll just Stellar Wish. I don't really want to cycle any energy so we'll get Erica's hospitality here uh, I got a guaranteed knockout with Zapdos if I want it which is cool but I think I'm just gonna hospitality and see what my draw is first got a switch yeah I'm probably just gonna go and take that knockout with Zapdos I've got switch Guzma stuff like that in my hand uh, I guess I can Probably just evolve that EV too because uh, I just don't want anything weird happening to it, uh, like snipe and things like that. While well, it's in my hand, I know that my opponent plays Judge now too, so I'll just take that moment to evolve him up. You never know when Jolteon's going to be a good play too. Just a nice, efficient attacker can kind of pop off out of nowhere with uh, either Thunder Mountain or the Tapu Koko Prism Star too. So they're both options to get that dude up and rolling very fast. So Zork Greninja, I mean, it is a cool way to play Greninja for sure. Obviously, Greninja does use the double colorless energy, which is very cool. Uh, and then also you can use that uh, GX attack to snipe on the bench, which is sweet. You can also snipe things, which is cool. You can allow Zork to hit some numbers that it might not have been able to hit previously. Um, but I do wonder if it's better than the Zork fighting variant for sure. Uh, fighting is just very, very good in standard format right now because of obviously Picaram and for Zoric mirrors. So that is that is like kind of the big question about Zoric decks. Like, do you have to play them as fighting variants in standard format right now just because of how good Lightning is? I think Dark Integral Donald just proved to us you could play whatever in the world you want. And you know, if your deck got it like that, your deck is some fire, <laughs> then you could just play whatever you please. You know, so that was amazing. I have never seen a Venusaur deck set up quite like that, dude. That was so highly impressive. So my opponent is getting the Guzma knockout on my Jirachi, which makes me sad. Not going to lie. Um, we do have everything that we need. That Viridian is still in play. I can just promote the Jolteon. He's got free retreat. And I should be able to get, I think, a knockout here with, yup. I think we've got the technology, fellas. So let's see what we can do. We want a Tapu Koko Prism Star, right? And then I can attach for turn. Very good. So let's Volcaner and go get him. So long as he's not prized, we'll go grab, ah yes, in the deck. Very good, where you belong. We'll go there. And then, yeah. Nest Ball, get ourselves the Coco. Can dance of the ancients. So let's see. Two lightnings down. I don't need to discard any. So we'll just dance of the ancients. I can't really get anybody else because that Jolteon has the free retreat. So it would be better to get that energy onto the Jolteon instead of the Zapdos. But I guess I could have switched to do it. I just kind of like keeping that switch in my hand. You never know when you might need it. At 220 hit points, they could do 150 plus 30. Um, so their max damage output is 180. So they're not going to hit that knockout, which means that I can pretty safely just go and full blitz for knockout here and say, you know what, Chief? You ain't you ain't going to knock out this Picaram. That ain't happening. So we'll full blitz and put all the energy onto my active here. And that is very good. Excellent. All right, didn't even need the Jirachi. We just got all the sauce we need in our hand there. Lily and Ultra Ball, very good for me too. And now they kind of have the pressure put on. They need to respond to this Pikaram immediately. 
They only got a three card hand to do it. Cynthia might find them as Zork. They might need they might be able to hit into this thing. But as it is right now, this Picaram is taking two prizes minimum next turn, or even three. If my opponent evolves up into Zorark, that's just GG's, because we can just go tag bolt one of the bench guys. My opponent sees through that, though, so they already know. They cannot afford to do that. We'll gladly just attach here, Ultra Ball away, probably the Switch and the Lele. Grab myself another dude here. And and Lily for some more cards. That's pretty good. So we'll just tag bolt GX, knock out that Frogadier looming over there. I don't want you around. Nope, goodbye, sir. And then my opponent's got one turn to finish this game up. We see things just escalated extremely quickly. What's up, Rexham? Hello from America. Thank you for joining us here today. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. Let's see, opponent's got another frog. Put 20 damage on. Unfortunately, I think it's too little too late. Miss Cherry, sorry. Peek around out here housing through some things. I've heard lots of different opinions on the uh, on the new Pikachu and Zekrom tin art, I've heard that it's beautiful and I've heard that it's ugly, okay? I don't really know where I stand on it yet. I haven't seen it in real life. Let's see, Pikachu and Zekrom promo. I, I will say though that I, you know, we did have a varying opinion, okay, chat. We had a very different opinion on the Snorlax. I think the Snorlax is very cool. A lot of people in the chat thought he was very ugly. I disagree, but that's okay. Differing opinions makes the world go round. Let's see, the Pikachu and Zekrom Tim promo, though, he looks okay. I don't know. Pikachu riding on Zekrom's back, it's kind of cool. Uh, I think that I do really like this artwork, too, though. I love that the Pikachu is kind of just like out there front and center. Ryan Reynolds, looking good. And, yeah, that's just going to be it. We've got Guzma. Knock out a Frogadier for game with our Jolteon GX Headbolt Knockout. And we get it. I do really like that the tin promo arts are textured this time around. They've never done that. I always felt like the tin promo arts look like kind of like cheap knockoffs. But I was really impressed with the fact that they were textured now. So I think that that just looks like really stellar. All right, y'all. We're going to finish the day off with uh, one more deck. I think I'm just going to play Jolteon, right? Finish the day off one more game. We are playing Jolteon. I haven't played Jolteon yet today, so we're going to try one with Joltog, see how we do. And then I'm going to be back again, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, tomorrow morning, Friday morning stream, y'all. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Big shout out to the subs, everybody who donated bits. Uh, much love to my Patreon subs as well. Going to be cranking out another video, exclusive video for you guys all soon. Also, I'm going to take this weekend to focus on my YouTube content, make sure that I'm getting the best YouTube videos up that I can. I really want to focus in and make sure that I'm producing some higher quality stuff. Uh, I do love, obviously, just doing the PTCGO gameplays, but I want to make sure that I'm making some, you know, nice special content for YouTube only. Sometimes I uh, run out of time, just to be honest, run out of time and just have to upload the Twitch VODs. But I do like uploading the Twitch VODs to YouTube too because that way, I mean, this is like hours of content that we're creating. But, you know, obviously the YouTube audience is sometimes bigger. So I do want to share that content that I'm creating here over with the YouTube dudes as well. And that's kind of important to me. So... Appreciate you guys all hanging out and for supporting Tricky Jim and whatever endeavors we end up embarking on. And let's see if we can't win this final game here with uh, with Jolteon. Opponent's got a Coco there in the active. Let's see what we can do here. I can Volkner. They also got Aether Paradise, which is very annoying. We could Volkner for an escape rope, but I don't have an attacker yet. Let's 
uh, kind of a weird spot, but I actually just want to see what we're working with here first. Okay, so Guzma, Energy Lotto, none of that actually matters. Electro Power, I could double Electro Power if I get, I don't actually have a Switch card. So the Guzma, yeah, none of this actually really helps. None of it. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess, right? Uh, I guess we could go for an early Lily, right? Don't love that. Or we could fail. Oh, just like a horrible hand here. This is not what you want. Guzma, Energy Lotto. None of this really helps. That's fine. We'll just grab that for now. So let me think here. We could Volkner. I can get myself an escape rope. No, we need to get another Pokemon, that's for sure. And a lightning energy. It's kind of just where we at right now, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna grab Let's see. Are they going to attack me turn two? Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Just a weird hand. Okay. I think I'm just going to go in and evolve into Jolteon. That way, if they knock out my Jirachi, you know, I actually have some options next turn. Sure. And we're just going to pass. Because the thing is there, if I grab... If I grab Zapdos, right, and then they knock out my Jirachi, then I just promote Zapdos, and I probably lose. So I can't really afford to do that. I think Jolteon is my best bet because then I can pivot away from Jolteon. It has free retreat. Or I can attack with Jolteon. So I think it's probably the play. All of those... All of those felt bad. With Aether Paradise, there was absolutely a 0% chance that I was knocking out this Tapu Koko turn one. It just like wasn't gonna happen. I actually kind of like keeping these Electro Powers in my hand too, so that I can just kind of pop off with Jolteon next turn if I want to, which is kind of cool. Looks like, yeah, my opponent's just gonna take this opportunity to take that knockout with the Jirachi and then move on over to their own Picaram as well. So they're going to be looking for like a full blitz coming down the line here. They don't have any lightning in the discard yet, so Dance of the Ancients not coming into play. And let's see what we can do here. We got our own Zapdos, so that's good. Um, hmm. What if... I also got a Rescue Stretcher. So we're going to put that Jirachi back into play too. I really would hate to waste double electro power to knock this thing out. Uh, let's let's just do it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna Cynthia. That's kind of what we on right now. And then I would like to take the knockout with Zapdos if I can. So if I hit into an energy here, which I did, then we can do that. Just gonna retreat into the Jirachi. Stellar Wish first. Got another Nest Ball. It's pretty dope. I can get myself the Blitzel into it. And then I have Zip Striker for next turn. And then we got the switch and the lightning. So that's pretty much best case scenario for me. And then I believe that's knockout double electro power should get me there. Perfect 110. And I did not counter the stadium intentionally so that obviously having my own Zapdos with like an effective 140 hit points is pretty good. Makes it a little harder for them to KO. So let's see what we can do here. Um, unfortunately, the Aether does not work on my Jolteon. So that's kind of a bummer. But definitely complicates things. I ended up cutting the Aether pretty quickly from my own Picaram list when I was testing it earlier on because it usually ended up getting in the way. Like, it ended up benefiting my opponent too much because if you're playing, like, a lightning mirror and, you, and Aether gets down, it's just, like, a kind of a mess. And anything can happen. 
the Picaram deck doesn't usually play a ton of stadiums, so it usually was just like a toss-up as to who was going to end up benefiting the most from it. Whoever hits their Electro Powers better, or, you know, whatever, whatever. Oh, tell me he ain't going down, though. He don't have double Electro Power. Oh, he's just going to tag. <laughs> he's just going to tag ball. This guy. All right there, champ. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I think we have to promote the Jirachi. Okay. Uh, I can use the Coco GX, though he only has three energy in play. So we're doing base 150, 160. Let's see what we Stellar Wish into first. The Shrine is good. The Guzma is good. Electro Power also good. Um, that means that I just need to find myself a choice band. I could go 150, 180, 210, and then a choice band will do it. But I do have to find the choice band. That's fine. I, I believe. I am like putting my believe hat firmly on. We've got a sprint. We can make this happen. All right, we've got Thunder Mountain. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. All right. Gonna take that lightning there onto him. Now is your time, Coco. We have to believe. We've got our believe hats firmly equipped. All right, we're gonna draw into a lily or something. I ain't even gonna rescue stretcher. We don't want any of that back. Let's go. Oh yeah! Touchdown, let's go. Okay, I was so excited I actually almost put that onto the wrong Pokemon. That would have been absolutely disastrous. Okay. And yeah, that's looking about good. So, Tapu Thunder GX. We've got him. Got him, Chief. 240 damage. Exactsies. Three prizes. Let's go. Everybody send your busted emotes in celebration of gripping it like that, punishing that. That greedy, greedy Pikachu and Zekrom GX. He was so greedy. He was so greedy. He wanted so badly to take the game with that Tag Bolt GX. But we were able to get there. Now, if my opponent is able to respond with some sort of wacky knockout here, I don't think that they can. Um, they have already used their Dance of the Ancients. So yeah, they are not scoring a one-hit knockout here. I also do not have a, oh, I do. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, we've got it, actually. Check this out. 160 plus Shrine. Oh no, I don't. Man. Yeah, we're just gonna actually Guzma this thing though. Just thinking I don't have it, because I can't like I didn't have a free retreater. It's cool though. Alright, we're just gonna we're gonna do it the hard way. Oh wait, wait, wait. I can do it. Alright, so let's do uh Alright, alright. My Coco. Oh yeah, let's go, chat. We've got it. Alright. Dance of the Enchants. The Enchants, please. I'd like to put the energy onto my Coco GX. Housing out here. Doing what he's got to do. Shrine of Punishment. Retreat. And boom. That's it. Sky High Claws. 160 plus Shrine. Goodbye, Lele. And GG to my opponent. So that's it. Quick game there with Jolteon. Really getting in there and showing us what it can do there. Tapu Coco GX just housing there for all those knockouts. Awesome stuff. Thank you guys all for an amazing stream today. I gotta get to work, but big shout out to everybody who subbed to the channel, gave the channel a follow as well. I've been watching. I don't know. What side is it on? Okay, is the, is the thing? Appreciate everybody who gave the channel a follow. Oh, right. It's right here. Yes. I've been watching that. Thank you everybody who's followed the channel, donated bits, subbed. You guys all rock. I really appreciate it. Uh, big shout out to the Patreon subs again for supporting the channel too. Hopefully you guys all have a great day. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com for all of your TCG single needs. We just put a huge load in. Still uploading a ton of old cards to the system as well. So if you collect old cards and stuff, you can check out the website and see what we've uploaded. We got a ton, a ton, a ton of old inventory as well, of course, as new standard stuff also. So thank you guys for supporting the shop. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here again 
for Friday morning stream, playing some standard PTCGO as well. Shout out to Dark Integral Gaming 2 for getting us a fun game there with his Venusaur Genesec deck and uh, whooping uh, Peter Keats's fighting deck that I was piloting. That was a great game as well. So y'all have a great day. Take it easy. Peace.